Good morning everyone, I'm Frank. Welcome to Banging Gears, the YouTube channel about everything automotive. Car shows, car events, with some do-it-yourself tutorials, which usually have to do with my Cobra. There's Ruby behind us. But today we're gonna work on the Ford F-150. We're gonna install some rear wheel liners. I'm gonna show them to you, show you everything you get, everything you need, and then we're gonna install them. So stick around. So what are rear wheel liners and why do you need them? So they're just plastic inserts that go in the rear wheel well of the truck to help protect the metal components from the elements. Now, obviously things are still gonna get wet, but here on the East Coast where we get a ton of snow and salt in the winter months, it's just a little added protection to help make things last as long as they should. So what do you get? You get both rear wheel liners driver side and passenger side. You get six screws in black, which is what I like about the Ford product. Six plugs, also in black. Six metal brackets that help secure the insert using the screws to the frame. What do you need? You need a, a ratchet, you need a seven millimeter socket, and you need an extension. That's it. Should be a simple install, and we're going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is the passenger side. The driver's side is the exact same thing. I'm only going to show you one. It's super easy. So the first thing you can see is that this hole here is oblong, and this one is circle. And there's a few of those throughout. I don't know if you can see. There's one there that's oblong one there that is round, okay? So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the brackets, three of them, and then just gonna press right into the oblong ones. It takes a little bit of pressure and wait till they snap. And that one's in. And this one over here, I don't know if you can see it, my hand's in the way. That one slides right in. And then there's another one right over here. And that slides right in as well. All right, so now we're gonna take the insert itself and they're labeled RH and LH. So the RH is right-hand side the LH is left-hand side. If you're sitting in the driver's seat, right-hand side, left-hand side. So right-hand is passenger. You could also tell because on the inside, there's a notch where the shock is gonna go. And the shock on this car is in the front. So what you do is you just bend the corners in and make sure it's in. Roll it above the wheel. If you align the shock side first, which is gonna, on this side, it's gonna be the front, and just bring it in. You can manhandle it a little bit. And just like that, it's up there. All right, so this is gonna be a little difficult to do with just one hand, but you're gonna take the screws and inside, there's the bracket we stuck in. So one of the screws is gonna go in that bracket, just like that. You start it by hand. I'm gonna hold the camera and do it at the same time. It's not a fun thing, but with the ratchet, just kind of start it. You don't want to tighten them all the way down. You just want to get them in there. Hold it in place. You're going to do the same thing down here. 
I don't know if you can see that, so it's probably a little dark in there. My hands are in the way. I'm going to put the camera down. So I can use both hands. Once you get them started, they just go right in nice and nice. Okay, so that one started. And we're gonna do this one as well. Okay, do not tighten them all the way down. So now you're gonna take the plugs, the three plugs, and you're gonna put them in the holes that were round. There's three of them again. So there's one here. And they just press in a little bit of force. Just like that. It's another one up here. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's easier with easier with two hands okay and then there's the other one up here as well just line them up put the plug in and jam it in now you can go around and tighten all the rest of the screws there There, you don't want to over tighten anything. And there. And that's it. We're done. It's in there. It's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Okay? It literally took me like three minutes aside. On a wrench scale, it's probably a one. So we'll do the other side. You don't need to see that. It's the same process. 15 minutes max, you have them both in. So that's it for this episode. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Bangin' View.